Okay, so instead of cutting uh, that black plastic piece off, I found that I was able to slide it out. There's a, uh, a groove and a tongue. This is the tongue, and this pretty much comes down over top and slides down. So if you get a screwdriver, there's a little uh, black tab right there. Uh, push that in, and jam screwdriver in there, and then, and then, uh, and then, uh, where are we? Screwdriver in there and push up at the same time and it'll come right out. So we're gonna do that on the other side as well. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side now. I'm gonna remove the eight millimeter uh, bowl at the bottom here so I can pull this flap down to access this plastic tab. Okay, now with that down, you can That's removed. Let's go put this guy back on. Use the eight mil. This was the stubborn side, but thinking what we'll do. Let's go put the hose clamp on. All right, so we're on the uh, the front left side of the car. Uh, I slipped on a, a T-clamp. It turns out I ordered the wrong size T-clamps. That's, that's lovely. Uh, good news is, is that I got some leftover ones for my brake line install. I'll sacrifice these guys. And these are all smooth inners, so we'll use these instead. Looking real nice. Okay. So next, uh, slip one of these guys on. And uh, we're gonna join it up. And it doesn't have the best fit. If you can see, um, you see, the four inch, let's have this gap right here eliminated. Um, we can still bring it together. It's not the best fit, but I think it'll work. And if it doesn't work, uh, we'll just order some new clamps. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, we'll, we'll use the new hosing, which is coming in tomorrow. Feeling pretty good. Let's go do the uh, front right side and uh, please excuse my my white balance arms. I wish there was uh, 
see if I can show you this. This is why the bigger 90 is still needed. You can see right here, there's a gap that's coming out. Um, we might be able to close that with with the clamp, but we might not be able to. Uh, we'll see in a second. Alright friends, here it is, we're all installed over here, and then this side as well. So one more thing I wanted to show you guys was um, these brackets that I made, uh, I'll show you how strong these things are. Uh, this is, a, I guess these at Home Depot, a strip, maybe uh, a meter long, I think it was $7, maybe 14 quarter inch, I'm sorry, one eighth inch aluminum. I think it's 6061. Uh, this is a spare one I have. Drop it on the bumper here. I'm gonna stand on it. So, um, do this. So there is about, you know, three seconds of hang time of, uh, you know, 158 pounds and, you know, it's, it's still good. So I think this thing always 18, you got two of them. Uh, you don't need steel. So, plus these are corrosion resistant. These aren't going to rust. X, Y, Z. Uh, so, it's another uh, thing I wanted to show you guys. Okay, guys, we're putting the car back together right now. Uh, one thing was there's these. Uh, oh, there we go. There's these little black plastic tabs uh, that I broke from the bumper. I'll show you where they are. All right, and right here. Uh, so what I did is uh, went to Home Depot, and I got a I think they're a quarter inch by three fourths inch bolt. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm just putting these in right here. And now we can get move on to the rest of putting the car back. Next, we're gonna put the bottom uh, air dam back onto this uh, lower plastic shroud uh, with the nine uh, plastic uh, push tabs. We're gonna install this uh, this front flap right here. Uh, you're gonna see that the red tab that takes the uh, 25 Torx bit. And this uh, goes just like this, and we're gonna put seven millimeter bolt on this lower flap. This lower hole right here, and it has a silver uh, tab that goes through, and the star, the star bolt goes through this red tab right here. And just repeat for the other side. Okay, now we're going to go test fit the bumper and uh, see if we can really see all seven and a quarter inch in the front mount. If not, I'm making mine bigger. It's kind of a hard part to do by yourself, but. Definitely hitting some stuff. I'll bring the camera in. So first victim right here.
is this pole right here, this, this little vertical is pushing in on this hose. Um, we're almost lined up at this end up here. We need to make this together. So I'm thinking uh, we're gonna cut this off and we may have to cut into this bumper right here. Uh, let's find out. Okay, so we're finding here that the hose is hitting up on this. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, get some masking tape on here and probably cut a circular arc out and we're gonna go from there and see what happens next. All right, now we're gonna go take the bumper up. Um, we definitely need to cut out a circle at least inside right here. I already went ahead and cut all these slats off. That's just a personal choice. Um, what's also gonna be personal is if you wanna really show all of the intercooler itself. I do. Um, I've already hit a deer with this bumper, so it means nothing to me. I already have another one downstairs, just in case if I want to do a new one. I haven't decided if I want to uh, take this top and you know, cut along this line right here uh, to get more. We'll see. Um, I think what I also want to do is tape the intercooler up uh, to show how much actual area is being blocked. The, uh, the stock opening. And we'll go run a sharpie along there and see what happens. So basically, yeah, you can really see that we're missing almost half the intercooler because uh, you can't see it. Um, so what I'm probably going to do, 100% I'm taking off this top right here um, on the bumper. As for the bottom, I might take off that one lip and then we'll only be missing, uh, you know, maybe a three-fourths in suction uh, down here. So let's go ahead and mark the bumper up on the back. Let's go measure this distance right here. All right. We're missing two inches of the intercooler all across. So I know that I need to cut up two inches on the front of the bumper, at least, well, at most. Okay, so right now I've got my tape measure again, and what I wanna do is measure up two inches from the lip and mark a few lines. Now I'm, gonna, I'm now going to tape my, uh, my long ruler along this line and then draw one straight one and we'll probably use a uh, jigsaw to cut this over.